Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. Subjective justice in a cold and unfeeling world. And today it is time for episode 46 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And in today's episode, we have a couple more points to raise with a couple more suspects. We have at least one more conversation to have with Carmelina and some others to have with One Last Kiss, which is where we're going to head first. But I think it's worth uh, having a little logistical chat on the way there because basically we're right at the end of the game now. I can start the trial at any point throughout the game, as far as I can tell. The question is, do I have evidence and a narrative to stitch it all together? So, today we're going to hopefully gather the last of the evidence, and I might, depending on how long that takes, also have a quick look around the island for any remaining artifacts or oddities that I haven't yet found. Uh, I did actually go have a look at the achievements before I booted up the game today, just on my Steam account, just to see what... Uh, what achievements I have and haven't gotten, what that might suggest. Uh, I have completed almost all of the achievements, and I have collected all of the collectibles of every type that has an achievement relating to it. Uh, except for Starlight skins, and except for Shinji's. So somewhere on the island are a couple more Shinji's that I have yet to find. Although God knows where they're hiding. Anyway, I'm not sure if the game records your collection of what it calls relics, which is just bits and bobs. I mean, all of the whiskies, the island sequence mementos, the soft drinks, the recordings, those are all listed here under relics. However, a lot of there's a lot of untyped ones, a lot of generic relics that you can find that aren't part of specific collections, as far as I can tell. And those ones don't seem to have a counter achievement attached to them. So I don't know if that means that there's a whole bunch left for me to find, or if the game doesn't care how many of them I find. Uh, regardless, I want to have a final nose around and see if I can find any I've missed. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and carefully review my evidence and come up with my theories. And then, in the f presumably final episode, I will present those theories to you and head into the trial. Then I think I'll do a little roundup episode where I'll um, just have a little bonus episode where I go over some of the things I, some of the locations I really liked and some of the, the items I liked and so on. Anyway. Got time to chat? I have all the time in the world until the island ends. How do you deal with a corrupt ruling class? No society has ever worked that out. The real world would be a different place if they had. The ruling class are more insidious than the gods. They corrupt all that they touch, mutating society to be something that only benefits them. For every ruler that meets the guillotine, another takes their place. Society births them with no respite. What would you do? Hmm. I mean, mass murder clearly doesn't solve the problem because the mass murderers tend to just set themselves up as the new ruling class right afterwards. On the other hand, you know, it's kind of, it is kind of like facile to simply suggest that we change hearts and minds. Uh, I'm not really sure what answer I should go for here. Change hearts to change minds. I hope you're right. I hope you can do it. The cycle will repeat until you do. I have enjoyed our conversations, but you have a job to do. Paradise needs saving. I will assist you where I can. Oh, investigator, I have something for you. I don't need it anymore. Shiny. Why do I need it? <laughs> wow! She's trying to give she's trying to give you a gift, and your response is like, I don't want your garbage. Never forget that the clock is ticking. Vintage watch. One last kisses watch. She does not need it anymore. So, no more demonology and no more case files. I guess I have successfully mined out all of her content. Uh, puh, puh, puh. May you always live in the shadow. 
May you reach the moon. So, who does that leave? I have something to say to Yuri, although I don't really know what it is. I have something to say to Witness, and I believe Carmelina has a little dreg of dialogue left to go. But yeah, I find myself wondering... All of this stuff is supposed to be sorted out at trial, but are there separate trials for the separate crimes? Because surely I, as a supposedly unbiased investigator, should not be going in with the preconceived notion that these crimes must relate to one another. The murder of Grace Bloodlines, the murder of Kay Hacks. We can't assume that, oh boy. Uh, we can't assume that any of those are related, but the game... In fact, the game tells us not to assume that anything relates to anything else. Um, but just kind of narrative trends would dictate that they're all related to each other, and I, I don't trust that they're not related. I mean, K Hacks crafted one of the seals, after all. Where the hell am I going? Uh, anyway, yeah, so K Hacks crafted one of the seals, you know. Um, and the other crime, which was. the whole deal with Henry, all of that stuff. I mean, that clearly must relate to this crime, but how? My instinct is to say that, you know, this is a big conspiracy, as I've said many times, but... It's... it's... hmm. I'm definitely going to have to sit down and think it through, basically, which will happen uh, between episodes, as I said. But yeah, I suspect I am going to end up going kind of blocked, 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 blocked. None of you are free from sin on this one. Witness to the end. Ooh, coercion. Spicy. Witness, I have testimony that you were using the secret bunker for demonology research. From who? Who do you think? Whatever you think you know, you don't. I will always work for our holy masters. This has nothing to do with the murder of the council, though. I found a killer demon inside the council penthouse with the victim's blood all over its claws. You think you're on to something, but you don't know what you're talking about. Then why don't you tell me? If you think you have some wild conspiracy theory, you will need to prove it in the trials. I won't talk further about this. I'll see you in court, witness. I like that it's, may you fly with destroyed Eden, and may you reach the moon. I like that it's kind of attempting to indicate that they've suddenly clammed up and started to become uh, less uh, less helpful, you know, less willing to cooperate as we, as we start to reach towards the end. But they've all been obstructive all of the way along, right? There's never been a point where anyone's really been helpful to me. All right, Yuri, what have you got to say for Yuri self? Yuri Ever want a space helmet, Yuri? Why would I wear a space helmet? To get through the second seal. Never been through it, freak. A space helmet was discovered surrounded by pink petals that look like they came from your hat. That is the most tenuous thing I've ever heard, freak. You're grasping at straws. Well, that's that. May you see through a million eyes, and may you reach the moon. Every single time I bring evidence to these people, the whole way through the game, every single time, it's met with just a flat denial. It's kind of irritating. Like, I can see... Like, obviously, lots of characters should make flat denials, otherwise, you know, they would be acting against their own interests, it wouldn't make much sense. But it's just, it's kind of bizarre to me that, um... That they... They do it every single time. Characters never, you know attempt to come up with an alternative explanation that isn't completely baseless and absurd and immediately called out as such. And they also never seem to attempt to um, deflect a suspicion onto someone else with regards to a specific thing in a way that isn't baseless and immediately absurd. And um, yeah, I had some other comment but I've already forgotten what it was going to be. 
Anyway, uh, let's just jump ahead. Hi, Sam. Sam, daybreak. It's very important as an investigator get up, get up in people's personal space as, as tough as possible. Oh, he doesn't actually have anything else. Okay, well, I think in that case, there's no one else left to talk to but Carmelina again. I'm pretty sure she's the last remaining person who might have something to say to me. So let's let's uh, skedaddle back to Carmelina. Well, let's see what she's got to say for herself. Probably nothing whatsoever. I'll see you in court, since that seems to be the going trend. Yeah, she still has hangouts. Astonishing. Can I ask you something, Architect? I want to give you something, Investigator. An eye? It's the eye of a worshipper of Blood Dancer. It's been preserved and reformatted into a storage device. The chronicles of Blood Dancer have been imprinted into it. By examining the crevices of the eye, you may learn about the god. Blood Dancer caused multiple planet-wide genocides as he perfected his insane technology. There are always sacrifices for progress, Investigator. What are your sacrifices? A personal question. Every day we make micro-choices about how we live. Each one bears the weight of our vision for our own future. Is doing this going to better realise my goal? No. Should I do it? Even though it is more beneficial for the world or loved ones? Can I live with the consequences? That sounds grave. Individual consequences do not have to be life-altering. They all add up, though. Please, go and enjoy the island, Lady Love Dies. Through it, you may learn more about yourself. Thank you for your time, Architect. This weird little customer service sp spiel she's given me. She's given me right at the end. How strange. Flawless Blood Dancer Eye. A gift from Carmelina. A preserved eye which has had the chronicles of the god Blood Dancer recorded into it. May the silent goat walk with you. May you reach the moon. So, with that, we run out of leads, we run out of evidence, we've 100 percented all of the collectibles on the island except for a couple of Shinjis, as far as I can tell, and a couple of Starlight skins, which I might just be able to just buy all of from Crimson, I'm not entirely sure. I might try and do that now, actually. Which means I've got, you know, eight minutes left of episode to film. And I haven't done my evidence review yet, so what's going to happen is I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I've missed any collectibles. I'm going to go buy everything I can from Crimson, and then next episode we'll have an evidence review and kick off the trials, like I said before. So, let's see if I can find anything. Aha! One I've missed. Let's see what we got from this one. Ancient text. Most of these texts were destroyed after the Great Betrayal. Those that still exist in the real world are approved by them. Ah, oh, the mysterious them to which every conspiracy theorist ascri ascribes every uh, perceived ill in the world. That's I've been halfway around the island and that's the first one I found that wasn't a crystal, so uh, I think I'm onto something. Although... Could we take that boat somewhere? Did that go somewhere? I can never... Ugh, I can never remember what I have and haven't done. Anyway. End of day. Workers wipe their brow at the end of the day. It's strange. The churn never ends. You know, as I make my sprinting circumnavigation of the island, I've been thinking a lot about it. I've spent nearly a year let's playing this game now, and I've nearly 100%ed it, com like, completely. And that seems like a strange thing to do for a game that you don't really like. But there's so much I want to like in this game. There's so much I appreciate about it. There's so much I enjoy. And every, every step of the way, I'm struck by how good it could have been, and disappointment at how good it's not. <laughs> huh? 
But that said, I do think its soundtrack is kind of a triumph. I think a few of its songs are a bit insipid and lacking, but a lot of them are genuine bangers and they give a real tone to the world. I think that... I think that it, if it had a more directly vapor-wavy tone for its music, the game as a whole would feel quite different. And I think it would be it would be lacking. I think that the music of this game is exactly right to what this game is. This kind of jazzy, future funk, pop-inspired, 80s revivalism, you know. Because it's, as I said right at the beginning, it's as much synthwave and it's as much future funk as it is vaporwave, more so even. So I really, I do think it's worth shouting out the things I like about it. And definitely several of the songs on this soundtrack are going to be, going to be regulars for me. But there's also a kind of a, a bittersweet element to having to say goodbye to this game. Because, again, every step of the way I've, I've criticised it, and I mean that in the sense of said negative things about it, not in the sense of done criticism to it in a literary sense, although that has also been my goal, as with all of my Let's Plays. But I think it's weak. I think that it never goes anywhere near far enough in any of its ideas, any of the things it's trying to be. It doesn't think about any of the ways to take it further. It's just so surface level in every way. But it's it's become such a part of my life. Um, I think I will I think I will be sad to see these badly written characters and their badly written murder plots disappear to fade into the background. I could even see myself replaying this game years from now and having a sort of a pleasant little nostalgic uh, experience. Anyway, I've done it as I sprint up the almost vertical sides of the pyramid of crying grudge the one living god i found him i've circumnavigated the entire island i have exactly two remaining unpicked up objects one is a starlight skin on top of a of a of a ceiling orb that's not what they're called a dome that I can't reach no matter how hard I try, and the other is my gun, which I'm not allowed to pick up until the trial is done. And Shinji. Probably the last Shinji. Hi Shinji, what do you got for me? How come Doom Jazz gets a yacht? He likes his private time. How do you put in to get one? How do I become a yacht owner? It's my dream to own a yacht. How long have you had this dream? About 13 days. I think he'll need to be part of the syndicate to get a yacht. If that's the case, I'm not interested. And uh, with a final, with a final, he's gone. My god, I did it. That was him, the final Shinji. <laughs> Little anticlimactic and yet somehow perfectly in character, except that he didn't tell me to go fuck myself. So, that leaves the Starlight skins. And what this means is that I actually found almost everything just by playing this game obsessively. That's kind of funny to me. Whenever I play any game that has open world elements, I tend to get bogged down in finding everything, which is normally highly detrimental to the experience, but I think it actually works in this world, and it works because they've done the thing that oh, most open world games never do. Every single little thing is a unique little thing. Every single item is a unique little item with its own little description, rather than remixing the same five combat events over and over and over, identically, to populate a map with identical, you know, meaninglessly differentiated little icons for you to do. Um, so that's kind of neat, I guess. The only thing I have left to collect now are the Starlight skins. Although I now realise that unless I can reach that one on top of the uh, the dome up on top of the central tower, then that's not exactly going to help. Can I buy multiple? Can I just go until I get them all? Glimpse of serenity. The start of the day is filled up with so much promise. Anything could happen. It won't. Starlight 
skin is drained. Impassable space. This area of space can only be traversed by an ancient race of octopus-like creatures. Their bodies harden into crystals to protect them from innumerable micro maelstroms. Possible crucible. One school of thought claims this area of space is the crucible of life. Another school of thought contests that it is not, but has not provided an alternative. A billion stars. Are all those stars looking down on us every night? All those stars looking down on us every night. Harrowing, isn't it? What do they want? Why do they watch? Fleeing moon. The moon will be back. It has to be. It always is. Pop art. The colors of paradise. All right. Well, that leaves exactly the one, the one final thing that I can't get. Oh, that's gonna itch. That's gonna, that's gonna rankle. That's gonna, ooh, that's gonna be irritating. So that means that I have actually gained, just simply through play, um, all but two of the achievements. One is the Starlight Skin achievement, uh, which for obvious reasons I cannot complete because I, I can't get up there and I can't see any other way to get up there. Um, and the other is actually to speed run the game and uh, successfully complete it in under 10 minutes, which is pretty neat. I imagine that's a lot easier if you go in knowing what the right answers are, having completed the game once already. But I do love the idea of a detective simply bumbling into this situation, making wild speculations and inexplicably turning out to be correct all within 10 minutes. So, um, I my timing's gotten messed up on this one, so I have no idea if this is going to be a little bit of a short one. But that is going to be all from me for now. So why don't you come and join me again next episode for my theory of events and the trial. And we can finally put this game to rest. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.